What is up guys? This is Moto Wizard Steve here and today we are doing something a little different. I'm going to do a little motorcycle maintenance. We are cleaning my chain. Now it doesn't really need to be cleaned. You can see it's pretty clean as is. But I've put two full tanks of gas since I last did it. And so I'm just going to need to lube it up, make sure, you know, clean it and then re-lube it so that I know it's all lubed evenly. Um, so we're just going to do a little short video today on that. So what I've got set up here for my chain cleaning kit, you would say, quote unquote, um, is my cleaners. I've got, uh, I can't even read the brand name. It's Maxima, I think. I got their cleaner, their penetrant lube, and their chain lube, the wax. Um, I use it in that step. When I clean it, uh, I don't have access to a hose, so I spray with water and then wipe away all the water with my rags here. Um, I have my chain brush, and then sometimes I'll use this to kind of clean around some of the other stuff there, but uh, yeah, for now this is pretty much what I've been using. I know this isn't what you have to use. Um, this is what I picked up first. Uh, what my manual actually recommends is gear oil for um, for the lube. Let's see, let's get a good angle here. So it's got a good spot here. You can see the chain isn't too bad, but you might be able to pick up some of that those dark spots there. Uh, that's all dirt and grime. And so I want to clean that off of there. So my process is pretty simple. First thing I do is grab my chain cleaner and I will spray down the bottom side of my chain here as I roll the tire. And then I will let it sit for a little bit. So let's get that process going. Oh, by the way, I also set up some cardboard down here. Um, this is a bit of a messy job, so if you're going to be doing it, I uh, want to make sure that you kind of keep your area clean. Make clean up a lot easier. I'm just going to spray this. Very messy. And I'm just going to make sure I coat everything good. I'll be cleaning all of this off of there. Okay. You can see there's a bunch of grime coming up out of here. A few moments later. So I've let this sit for a little bit, and now I'm going to use my chain brush here. I'm going to spray this with a little bit of cleaner. And then I'm just going to literally clean here. Of course, I have to put my gloves on. So I'm going to slip those on real quick. <laughs> just messing with my camera and forgot to put them back on. So here I just make sure I'm cleaning the chain really well. Spray a little bit more chain cleaner on my, my brush. And we're gonna pass it in. Okay, so that part, I've kind of loosened up all the grime pretty good. And now I'm going to use water here. Of course, I want to dry all this and get all this water out of here. 
I don't want to let any of this stay on the chain. But I gotta clean the cleaner over here, and seeing as I always have no hose, I have to kind of do this this way. Pull my cardboard. Another reason I have this cardboard here, because it gets pretty dirty down here. So, now I'm just gonna clean the chain right here with my towel, my microfiber cloth. You don't wanna use anything but microfiber. You don't wanna get a bunch of cloth into your chain, that would not be good. Now I'm just going to wipe my chain as it goes around. As I turn the tire. You see it's collecting, you know, a lot of gunk and residues. And I'm just gonna wipe down the water on my tire here. Get this all dried. And I come back through on my sprocket, kind of clean in these recesses here where the sprocket sits on the the wheel hub and it's collecting a bunch of dirt down here and and grime so dirt and grime down here I like to come through and clean all this and this little nut here the rear axle nut since I'm here so we'll get the dirt around these edges off of here. Let's see. This rocket collects dirt on all these bolts. And it sits there. And we got a lot of scrub jay. Giving his two cents. I'm gonna go around on the top of the links here. I guess it's the inside. Whoops, I don't wanna get that in the sprocket. One other thing we're gonna do when we do this. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> They're literally fighting in that tree. There's a tree past uh the end of my driveway here and these scrub jays are fighting and I just saw a bunch of debris come out of the tree like they're jumping around at each other. <laughs> nice. Okay, so back to this here. Where was I? All right. So I'm just gonna wipe all this down. It's a mess. One thing you'll notice is down by the center stand, uh, that area collects a bunch of gunk. I usually like to clean clean that up a little bit when I do this and then usually the area back here by the, the shocks right here is usually pretty dirty um, I usually keep it pretty clean but that's an area where you're gonna see a lot of dirt collection and it's good to clean that off occasionally I will take the cover um, over here by the front sprocket off and use uh, a brake cleaner and get the gunk out of there um, Right here where this sits, there's a, uh, a pocket that collects a bunch of uh, a bunch of dirt. But um, that's you don't have to do that as often. Maybe in one of my next videos I'll show that. I don't think it's necessary to do all the time. Uh, it just kind of keeps your bike a little more clean. Anywho, now that I've sprayed this clean, I've gotten water and sprayed away my cleaner. One thing I want to do is check my O-rings and make sure they're all good. Um, the chain on in between the links here, there are O-rings that help seal everything up. And so one thing I like to do is check and make sure 
that I'm not missing any of them. And I haven't noticed a problem yet. It's on both sides as well. You have them on, on this side and this side. So when you do that, you want to check. But I have not seen any issues there. Uh, I have about 6,000 miles on my bike. Um, you shouldn't really have too many issues if you're just street riding with that yet. But I'm a pretty newbie rider, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm not missing any of those O-rings. That little black piece of rubber there. I've seen it on every one. So that is good. Now I'm just going to do a quick spray with water again on these. I noticed a little bit of grime that I missed when I was doing that pass. So I'm going to do another quick spray with water. Which means I'll have to wipe down again. But that's okay. This is a pretty quick and easy process as is. So it's not that big of a deal. I have to wipe them down a couple of times. And we are going to re-lube everything, so it's pretty inconsequential. Let's make sure i got a good shot here of what I'm doing. This is my rag again. I picked up another one because the other one had a bunch of grime on it from the first pass. And I don't really want to put that back on the chain. I'd rather clean the chain, not just spread around that grime. All right, I got the chain re-wiped down for water. I am just going to focus on that sprocket there a little bit because it is wet. We are almost to the next step. All right, that's good. I am going to move on to my multi-purpose penetrant lube, this yellow. Can here, spray can, whatever. And I'm going to apply this, the same spot here on the bottom of the chain, on the inside, um, where we applied the cleaner. You want to make sure it's pretty even spray on all the links. Well, I probably say I'd, I over a little bit. In here. Of course, every time I touch my camera, I take my gloves off. This isn't very smart. So let's put those back on real quick. And we will see. So you can see down here at the bottom of my sprocket is some of that, that lube, some of the grime. Let's see when I Turn this here, we have lube coming out. So that is a bit of an excess, but what I like to do to kind of remedy that, I think I got a little bit on the camera. Sorry. <laughs> what I like to do to remedy that, is just kind of put this rag right here on the inside of my sprocket. I don't, obviously don't want it to grab the rag, but I put it right here 
and I just kind of wipe away that that lube that collects on the sprocket. So I'm not really taking anything off of the, ch the chain itself, but all that excess that's coming up off of there, I'm grabbing with the rag. And it's gonna deposit in a couple other places, the excess. See, so you can kind of, it's coming right there. Which I will clean right here. Underneath the chain, I get a little bit of deposit. And it's, it's, it's a little drippy. I think I use a little too much even, even for my standards. So I also will get a little bit of cloth action. Make sure you're not getting on the inside of the chain because I over looped here. Um, I want to just brush the outside of the chain there. I don't want to get any of that lube taken away from the O-rings. Because uh, that would kind of defeat the purpose of what we're doing here is to keep those little internal components nice and lubed up so your chain stays intact and works the way it's supposed to. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to just, I have it lightly, just lightly pressed up against the side there of the chain. This isn't really necessary, but because I did over loop it a little bit, I'm just going to catch some of that so I don't make a giant mess everywhere. So, I think this is sufficiently lubed. It's pretty well cleaned. The other thing I will, last step I will do is use my Maxima chain wax. Spray that on there. And I'm gonna do spray on the, the inside of the chain here. Put my gloves back on. Yeah, I might not be doing this exactly how everyone would do it, but this is this is my way of how I clean and lube my chain. I don't want to put as much wax on here as I did lube. This is kind of a water repellent. So I'm just kind of lightly coat, and that's probably good. I'll do the same thing up with the sprocket. And the same thing along the sides here. Not as much. That wax is a good water repellent, so, or should be. So I don't want to take too much of it off the chain. But I also don't want to gunk up the chain. Last but not least, I am going to wipe off any of the stuff that collected on my tire and the inside wall of the tire on the rim. And that's pretty much it, guys. Maybe, you know, wipe this down real quick pretty clean here so not much I have to do for that do have some lube built up on the bottom of this down here but I think we're golden I'm gonna double check and see yeah so some of that's gotten underneath this little rubber right here rubber protector on the swing arm but that's okay that's not that big of a deal i think i talked about the gunk that i had down here and i'm going to take this little brush and see if i can clean that out of there go on the other side there or it should be a little easier to access the inside of that and just kind of wipe that down that's got a lot of gunk in there You don't have to go as detail oriented as I do. The main goal of all this is just to keep your parts working properly. It doesn't have to look perfect. My bike is, you know, far from perfect looking right now. Even though for a V-Storm, it's probably pretty, it's too clean, but. <laughs> I 
All right. See, I've gotten some of this. My center stand here gets a little dirty. Whoops. That tripod is really garbage. Doesn't stay stable. My center stand gets pretty messy here. So this is a great opportunity to wipe it down as well. It's just a nice, such a nice day out today. Like I went in for a ride earlier, but I didn't really want to moto vlog all my riding. It's nice to do, but it's good to just get out there solo. It's therapy for me. And I can't always be present on a camera when I'm getting my therapy in, you know? But I just collected some dirt. Dirt. Ooh, dirt. That's pretty good. Last thing I have to do is put my chain guard back on. Can't forget that. So we will take care of that real quick on camera. Might as well. Of course, I'm going to wipe down the inside. It's not that bad on this one. If I've been riding on a little dirt, it gets gunky on the inside here, but it's clean as a whistle. Let's see, where are the little bolts? Here's this one. Let's see, where's my other one at? I lost a bolt. Here it is. Bolt. Let's find the Allen key. Here's the correct Allen key. And let's just get this in here a little bit. There. Do the same with the other one. So I don't have to hold it there. is golden whoops bit clumsy so raw All right, that's on there pretty good. All right, guys, that is how Moto Wizard Steve cleans, lubes, and waxes his chain. Pretty simple, not that hard, but you got a little glimpse into my motorcycle maintenance program, schedule, whatever you want to say. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an excellent day, and I will see you guys in the next video.